Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to talk about Cyber Patriot. Cyber Patriot is a national competition uh, sponsored by primarily the U.S. Air Force and Northrop Grumman. Uh, there's also some other sponsors including uh, Microsoft and AT&T and others. Also Cisco now is involved with it. Uh, today's uh, subject is going to be talking about the creating of Windows images uh, using VMware Player and then adding the scoring engine to that image so that you can put vulnerabilities into your image and you can get scored uh, just like if it was on a regular competition uh, in the Cyber Patriot program. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first you want to get logged into the Cyber Patriot site, uh, cyberpatriot.org. Uh, along the top of that you can see the, the window here you have uh, competition. Under competition you'll see training materials. Uh, come down where it says build your own practice images click on that uh, you'll get this screen here you want to come down here to number two it says download the scoring engine go ahead and click on that and then download the scoring engine uh, here you can see I have a desktop this is a Windows 7 desktop that I've created using VMware Player now if you're not familiar with creating images in VMware Player VMware Player is a free download uh, it's part of the VMware uh, suite of software uh, it's a great tool. You can create images that are virtual images running inside of Windows. So you can create any any Windows operating system and run it inside of Windows. We use this as a training uh, tool because we can run a virtual image of Windows and then we can go ahead and change the configuration and we can do just about anything we want with it without hurting our operating system running on the computer. So if you're not familiar with VMware Player, I've got another YouTube video on just VMware Player and creating images. Uh, you need to review that and get familiar with VMware Player. It's a great resource. So here I've got the image running in Windows 7. Uh, what I did is I took the VMware, uh, the score, not the VMware, but the scoring engine uh, plus tools. Uh, this is 3. Uh, 0 0.1 I went ahead and copied that to the desktop now if you have VMware tools installed you can just drag this to the desktop or copy to the desktop it's pretty easy but you have to make sure you have VMware tools installed to do that go ahead and unzip this when you once you once you unzip it you'll find that um, we've got Cyber Patriot scoring engine inside it want to go ahead and click on that to get that started uh, as it gets started, just go ahead and click on the next until you get it installed onto the computer. Once it's installed, you'll see this new desktop appear, and you'll also see some new uh, some new programs or some new files. Uh, coach configuration and scoring report. Go ahead and click on the coach configuration tool. Uh, when this opens up, you find that there is a lot of different features. On the, on the left-hand side here, we've got a bunch of different tabs, account policies, local policy, install programs quite a few items that you can select and then right now we're selected with uh, local policy you can see there's another three tabs up here at the top and then all of these things that we can select uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select the account policies right now uh, this opens up and I get two more tabs one is password policy one is the account policy uh, account lockout policy under the password policy I'm just going to go ahead and click all three of these for scoring uh, you can see I don't have any minimum set for both uh, password history, maximum password age, or minimum password age, or password length. Those need to be uh, set with some something to give you uh, something to, to go by. Right now they're set at zero. Uh, you have some values on this side. Down here we also have the password uh, meets the complexity requirements enabled, and also the password using reversible encryption is enabled. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead up, up here to file, click on file, and then click on the save as. And we're going to save this uh, configuration, so scoring engine configuration, into a folder that I've created under the documents under libraries. And I've created a new folder called Cyber Patriot 2015. And I'm going to go ahead and save uh, that configuration file in it. It's saved right now. And now I'm also going to copy into this new folder the score report off the desktop. So go ahead and grab the score report, drag it over here, or copy it over to this uh, new folder, and then start it. Click on score report and get it started. Once it gets started, it will read this configuration file and then give you this screen. This is a, a very similar screen that you'd normally see during the, during the Cyber Patriot competition. Right now I've got three out of six items that have been scored already. The six were the, the six that I had selected inside that uh, coach configuration tool. You can see right now the, the password policy and the forced password history. I didn't have, have that set to anything. 
So it says any value from 0 to 3, so that was automatically given to me for points. Uh, the next one was the minimum password age, again 0 to 0, so I got that one. And then the minimum password length was 0 to 8, so I got that one. There's still three more that I need to make sure I have configured inside of the Windows image so that when the students correct it, they can get points for that also. You can see this is pretty straightforward. It's a great tool for practicing and correcting vulnerabilities that you put into Windows to help get your students ready for that Cyber Patriot uh, competition. This can also be used in class or just for your own purposes for getting familiar with cybersecurity and how to uh, lock down or protect or uh, safeguard some of the Windows uh, operating systems and some of the vulnerabilities that you can uh, get familiar with using the tool. Hope this helps. Uh, thank you much, very much for your time. Bye.